Welcome back. The Dickerson Park Zoo is more than just a place to go see animals. It's a great place to learn. Yeah, and you may even bump into the wild Jeremy Rabe. Take a look. Hey, Joey, how are you? Good, it is so good to see you. It's good to see you. I just got here. I just walked in the front gate here at the Dickerson Park Zoo because you know how much I love animals. You do. I just want to spend time with them. And I love having you out here. It's great. It's so fun. But, you know, last time I was here, I was noticing these signs. Can you tell me more about this? More about APE? Yes. yes. The animal protection efforts. Well, you're going to notice these signs around the zoo. Uh, all of them have the APE logo and the white and the green. Cool thing about it, if you take time to read these, you can learn a whole lot as you journey through the zoo because every one of these signs is about a program, uh, a conservation program that we support mm -hmm. to help protect animals all around the world. So when you come to the zoo, whether you are just a daily admission or a Friends of the Zoo member, you can feel good to know that a portion of your proceeds are going to protect so many endangered animals around the world. So not That's only is your price of admission, do you get to see these amazing creatures, but you know, you're, you get to see where it's Absolutely. going. You want to see some? I would love to. Yes, you get to see what is happening around the world. Uh, a lot of the animals that we support are not even animals that we have at the zoo, but it's a really important part of our mission to realize that we are here to protect the animals in our care and animals all around the world. So that's what APE is, Animal Protection Efforts. And you can just real, really feel good about a zoo visit knowing that you are helping in these efforts. I think that's part of the things people don't understand about the zoo too, is like you want to see the animals Absolutely. and you think, okay, I'm seeing them, but it's a much bigger picture. It the is. grand scheme of things, it's all about protecting the animals. That is completely it. That is our mission at heart, is to protect the animals because a lot of the research that's done, and in fact, we're going to see an animal here in South America. Oh, we're entering South America. We are, we're entering South America. You're, and you're dressed for it. We're about to the flamingo, so oh, you know you're set. It is, but the cool thing is one of the animals that we have here, little golden lion tamarind, the reason that they are uh, repopulating in the mm -hmm. wild now is because work done by zoos. Over a third of the population of GLTs in the wild are now because of efforts animal protection efforts in zoos around the country. So it's a really neat story. That is amazing. And you know what? I'm actually seeing a <laughs> green and white sign right over here. Joey, see, just walk a little bit down. Look at this. And you're dressed for it. And this is perfect. <laughs> Look at there, see? I didn't even plan this. This is purely this accidental. Is purely accidental. So when I stop at a sign and I read it, so this is going to tell me what now about flamingos. It's going to tell you about uh, the flamingo conservation program, about the uh, where they live in the Andes Mountains. Uh, really cool thing, if you catch this, the extreme temperatures. Look at that. Down wow. to minus <gasps> 40 Fahrenheit. A lot of people think, like you said, that flamingos are tropical birds. Right. And, you know, we think beach and, and exactly like you're sporting. These guys actually live in some really, really rough conditions. And uh, there's a plight going on with them. And a lot of it is tied to the lithium that we have in our wow. cell phones. <gasps> Seriously? Uh, yeah. So things like that are affecting the, Ch the Chilean flamingos. And you can learn about that just by coming and looking for all of the oh, this, oh, signs. Oh, there's, one there's more. another okay. one. Let's check out one okay. more because this is so fun because you can walk this. By the way, get your steps in. Get your steps See in. See animals and Absolutely. learn something. So here's another one. Uh, the cotton top tamarind. How, what are the efforts going to protect them? Uh, field research. That's another big thing. A lot of zookeepers, a lot of the veterinarians, uh, uh, people that work in the zoos will actually take their time mm -hmm. and go to a lot of these countries and help with the research. So there's so much, you nailed it, there's so much more that goes on. All of these signs have really neat information about those. So, you know, come in, get your steps, mm -hmm. read, learn. And you're protecting the animals. Exactly. Okay, so Joey, this is fun. So I've seen the flamingos, I've seen this. I'm gonna keep walking and check see, out every sign because I'm gonna want. learn and see where the price of admission goes to because it's Absolutely. helping the animals and I love that. I know you do and we love that too. All right, Joey, you wanna get your steps in with me? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh gosh, Joey, I've seen so many animals and I've learned so much. Yeah, and you got your steps in. And I got my steps Still in too. Still working. You know, and when I think about Missouri, I think about Missouri bears. Yes. And look at this, learning so much about the conservation and how they're helping like grizzly bears. Grizzly bears, yes. Which I love. Yes, you don't want to encounter one no, of those. Yeah, not, no, not in the wild. So we do not have, but again, here's a great example of a couple that we don't even have here, but mm -hmm. you're still helping protect them. So we've got the grizzly bear and then a really cool looking bear, Andean Bear Conservation Program. Wow. Super, super neat. South America, you know, we just, where we started. So here's another 
effort for the animals in South America. You know what's so all great over. too though? Like you said, you don't have them here, but you're helping animals all over the world. Exactly. So here in Springfield, Missouri, we're doing our part. Doing your part. Doing just, our part. And just by visiting the zoo, that's all it takes. How easy and how fun is that? Okay, Joey, so if somebody wants to come like I have, get my steps in, uh -huh. learn some stuff, help animals all around the world, What's the best way, like, should I learn more information on the website? Absolutely, go to DickersonParkZoo.org or follow us on social media because we are always updating and sending out neat facts through there. Yeah, you're gonna learn something, you're gonna have a great time, great. and you're gonna help animals all over the world right here in Springfield. Thanks so much, Joey. Thank you. Ah, it's been fun. Oh, it's always fun with you. Uh, now, have, have you gone to the zoo much? Yes, I love the otters. I was glad they showed the otters because yeah. they're the most fun. Everybody to loves the otters. I mean, you can't, and now, you know, with your little one, I would think the zoo may be more of a destination. We're than probably going to become friends of the zoo as he gets a little older and is getting into that. Uh -huh. That's for sure. And, you know, as I said, you might see a free range Jeremy there. You never know. The wildest creature at the zoo, I think. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> yeah, one of them. They've got the train that you can ride and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's, it's really a great way to spend a day. Yeah, great activity for the family, like you said, especially for young kids, and learning and knowing you're helping is really cool too. Yeah, that's what they've been doing at Dickerson Park Zoo for years and years, and as you can see, they're continuing the work. Yeah. All right. Okay, coming up on Ozarks Live, another local artist from Fresh Gallery. Ozarks Live, we'll be right back.